Thanks for checking out my YouTube channel, Robert's Video Machine. Don't forget to subscribe and then click on the like button as well. That really helps me a lot with the videos. Um, in this video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and also a demonstration. And this is of a Think Car, Think Scan SD. This one in particular is the SD6 version. This is the newest one. And then really quick, it shows the screen size, 4 inches, resolution, 400 by 800. So let's see what comes in the box first before we go out and um, do a quick demonstration. So this is how it is in the box. Okay, so here's the device here. And it has the OBD2 connection for the car. It comes with the USB cable. Now, as you can see inside the box, they give you these um, packets for moisture. And then it has the manual. So, I guess it's a different language manual. But then here's the English one, the quick start manual. So let me go through this really quick. And then I'll go out to the car and then demonstrate very quickly how this works. But here's a, I guess, the view of the device here. And you can see the ports on the back. And I got to read up to see what is included on this. Okay, so this is everything that comes in the box. You have the device, you have the USB cable. They give you those three packets for less moisture, but they do give you the manuals, and they come in Russian, Italian, English, French, Portuguese, Japanese, Spanish, and German. So just to be aware of it. So let's go outside and test it out. Okay, so first step in setting this up is you connect it to the OBD2 port. Um, this is where mine is located at. And then it brings you to this screen here where you do the Wi-Fi connection next. Okay, and then after you set up the Wi-Fi, most likely it's going to tell you that a new version of the application are ready to update and then they have them listed here as you can see okay there's only two of them and then you just update one at a time okay and you can see how the update is progressing and if you notice there the release time of September 6th and that's for both of them as of today October 17th 2021 the latest update is August 6th so it looks like they are updated frequently okay and then we're almost at the end of the update there and then, then it's installing so I guess you have to do one at a time and it tells you what version it is and what the fixes are. So let me just finish. Okay, and then after it finishes doing the first update, it looks like it does reboot. And then it sends you to this screen. And then on this screen here, if you go to the settings, Okay, and on the app update, it says that there is a new version, I believe, because there was just one more. Yeah, there was one more to install. So I guess you have to do the same one to this one here. Okay, and this one looks like it does it more quicker. And there it goes. It's going at the end. And then it just has to reinstall, and I guess it's going to do another reboot. Okay, for this one here, it didn't do a reboot. It just 
stop there. And if you go to the app update, you'll notice there's no more updates to be installed. So it is up to date. So let's get working with it. So let's take a look at what OBD has. And I guess it's going through each protocol. And if you see how they're all failing. And let's see what the last two do. Okay, and the reason it's failing, if you notice here, it says that the key has to be in the on position. So let's go ahead and do that and retry. Okay, so now, I don't know if you could tell up here. Make sure the key is on, but the engine is off. And then let's see what it does when it goes through the processes here. Okay, so it did pick up one. And then it tells you all the different functionalities for each one. You could read the information from the vehicle. You can test the oxygen sensors. That was pretty cool. And then there's onboard monitoring, control operation. You could read any fault codes. You could freeze frame. That is, that's when you're driving and you want to see different um, information of how the car is operating. You could do live data and then also the IM readiness. This is probably the most common one when people want to read fault codes and then you just select there's generic and then you select the specific brand. Um, my car doesn't have any issues, but let's double check. So you just select your, um, your vehicle. Mine is a Ford because it's a Mercury Mountaineer. And like you see here, there's no issues right now at the moment. And then let's see what other functionality it has. Let's see quit. Let's see what this does. Okay, so here it tells you that the engine lights off. There's no codes in the ECU. It completed eight readiness, I guess, tests. None have been completed. And then there's two that are not supported as previously stated. I guess this would be a lot more exciting if the car had issues, but I'm glad it doesn't have issues. But you could read up on all the different um, menus and see what you can do on each one. And like on this one here, I don't know if you noticed, it has the bank two sensor one. So it appears that it has four oxygen sensors that it can test and you can test each one and then make sure each one is is good but like I said I'm not having any problems with it so there's no need to test them and then most likely you have to have the car on to do these tests or at least some type of code coming through and in this case there is none so I hope this helps out you know, if you're looking to buy one of these for yourself, and like I said, let's see, there's maintenance. And then it looks like a software, free five free maintenance software for your option. No charges will incur. So I guess it gives you some type of maintenance that you can complete on the vehicle free of charge five times. Um, I guess these are the, I would do one like for major maintenance. Um, the Think Store, I believe, is when you purchase. Yeah, yeah that's the same thing. Okay. So I guess there's other other things here. You see ABS bleeding, all these other things that you can do. The Think File, I believe, is where you have the reports. If you want to do screenshots or have um like the diagnostic print out somewhere. I already showed the settings and then scan would be like if you're going to scan the vehicle, which most people would do normally. 
So I hope this helps you out. You know, let me know what you think about the video. Leave any comments or questions. You know, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And thank you very much.